Hey, it's Tina Forsyth here. Welcome to video number two in the Automate Your Marketing video series. Doing a mini little video series here. Uh, if you will recall, in our first video in part one, we talked about what I call a scary statistic. And really, we talked about the importance of uh, follow-up and having a strong marketing strategy in place, in particular around your follow-up, because statistically, only 10% of businesses do follow-up on a very purposeful and strategic basis. They follow up with their clients uh, on a regular basis. And as a result, those 10% of businesses of entrepreneurs end up getting 81% of the business that's out there. And of course, my question to you is, do you want to be one of the 10%, right? I'm assuming you're saying, heck yeah, because why not? You know, and here's the beauty of it. There's many marketing strategies out there in the world. There's many ways to connect with clients and so on. But one of the things I love the best about follow-up is it is very highly automated with the right systems, the right strategy, the right uh, initial effort, if you will. Once you set up, a really automated marketing map, once you set up a very purposeful automated follow-up strategy, it will continue to work with you on an ongoing basis. This is the beauty of follow-up. It doesn't have to be a manual process. It doesn't have to be something you remember to do. It doesn't have to be something your team members remember to do. Once it's set up, it will continue to work for you on an ongoing basis. So I want to dive into today the first of the five steps of, our, of, of my five-step process to create your automated marketing map, to create your automated follow-up process. And again, this is from the perspective of someone coming to your website and someone signing up, you know, joining your list, if you will, at your website, and what happens then, right? We're gonna talk about follow-up from that perspective. Now, there certainly are other scenarios where follow-up comes into play, and you could take these same five steps. You can take this same kind of strategy and apply it in other ways. Too, right so if you're at a networking event and you get business cards you know you can build a strategy from that perspective and so on too um, but in particular in this video series I just want to focus on what happens when somebody comes to your website and signs up for your list so step number one we're gonna start with the basics here essentially and step number one to creating your automated marketing map is to take inventory so here's what I mean by that taking inventory. You need to, my pen's not writing very well, <laughs> you need to be able to take a look at everything that you offer in your business right now. Everything that you have available for people to either give to them as a freebie or to give to them for sale, like to sell to them, right? So include all of your freebies, include all of your free reports. Uh, you know, you might call it an irresistible free offer, or you might call it a freebie. We call it a pink spoon. You know, there's different names, but all of the things that you have available to give away for free to people. Free training programs, might be free teleclasses you've done in the past. Anything you have, if you've recorded it, uh, you know, teleclasses, webinars and such and various things, I want you to include them here on this list when you're taking inventory. You also want to include everything that you have available for sale. So everything from the lower priced items through to the higher priced items. If you have books, if you have training series, if you do coaching programs, you do one-on-one, -on -one, you do VIP, whatever it is that you have to offer, I want you to include them in this list, right? So taking inventory of everything you have around you, whether it's free or something that people buy. Now here's something that might be fun. If you've been in business for a while, you may have a heck of a list going. You know, it might actually be kind of fun to see some of the things you have and in some cases that you might have even forgotten about because you, you'll start to, you might start to use some of these things in some of the later steps, right? Um, and likewise, if you've only been in business a short time and you have a pretty simple list, that can be a really great thing too because keeping it simple is always a very good thing. So the second step that you're going to do now that you have your list is you're going to sort your list and you're going to sort your list into two different categories you're going to sort it into things that fall into what I call an anytime category, and you're going to sort it into a time-based offering. So anything that falls under the anytime category is something that people can download, get, purchase at any given time. A book, you know, a training program that you have, an automated uh, or a virtual workshop downloadable program or something along those lines. Right? It's something that it doesn't matter when people want to buy it, they can go and buy it at any given time. Right? Now the time sensitive offerings are the things that have start and end dates. Right? So you might be doing a live training, live events, conferences, workshops, coaching programs, you know, anything that has an official start date to, through to an end date. 
you want to sort through your when you're taking you've taken inventory in step number one step number two is sorting through what are the things that are anytime offerings what are the things that are going to fall under the time sensitive category and knowing this comes into play when we start to look at step number three because what I want you to do here in step number three is determine what your goal is when people come to your site. Now here's the thing, I want to introduce you to what I call my tree trunk strategy. And this is something, it's, it's a really great way to kind of think about and embrace what this journey is about when somebody's coming to your website. So imagine that somebody comes to your website, they sign up for your freebie, they sign up for your, uh, your, for your list on your site, right? Now let's say, imagine that it's a three-part video series that you're offering. That becomes your tree trunk. Your three-part video series is your tree trunk, right? No. So people come to your site, they sign up, and they're going, they're going to start receiving you know, that three-part video series. They're going up the tree trunk there. Now, a really solid follow-up strategy, a really good automated follow-up strategy, is going to take this a step further. Traditionally, what happens is people just go through the tree trunk, Everybody's going to get the same thing regardless of what they want and need. At the end, you might offer something and then they just continue on, right? So you're going to continue the relationship through an e-zine, through your blog and stuff like that, right? That's going to happen regardless. You always want that to happen. Now, what I want you to consider from a tree trunk strategy perspective, and this is the beauty, especially when you use a tool like Infusionsoft, which we use and recommend mainly for this reason, you can actually start to branch people off you can automate this process too, right? You can branch them off into different offerings based on what they indicate and the actions that they take through your tree trunk. So if you have a tree trunk video series and video number one is about A, video number two is about B, video number two is about C, right? As, you're, as people are watching those videos, say in video number two, you're talking about something like learning how to have a sales conversation. And people, when they watch video number two, you could give them the option to like, hey, if this is an area that you really need help with, then click here. And you can lead them off into kind of a secondary series. You can take them off on another branch, right? But they're only gonna go down that branch if they've indicated that they were interested in learning more about that. Likewise, at any stage along the way, you can kind of branch them off into different things. Maybe you have another video, your third video series is all about how to upsell people as an example, and people are like, yeah, I want to learn more about that, then they can branch off into that too, right? So you're, you want to look at and start to really consider this journey that people get to take with you. And what I want you to do here in step number three, between now and our next video, because we'll talk about steps four and five in our third video, um, but I really want you to consider what your goal is in your tree trunk strategy. What is it that you want to have happen? What are What is the main thing? you want to lead people to, and what are some of the branches maybe that you want to lead people off in. Now keep in mind that whenever you're going to plug something into an automated strategy, whenever you're going to offer something through an automated strategy, it has to be something that falls under the category of your anytime offers. So when you sorted through everything in step number two, it has to be things that come from your anytime category. Um, you can't and you don't want to put something in here that's leading to time specific stuff. Because if you have a branch that goes off leading people to one of your workshops and that workshop was in September and all of a sudden it's December and people are still getting that information, it doesn't make sense. Then it also means you always have to come back and continue to update and all of that too. You want to set this strategy up so that once it's set up, it's done and you don't have to keep revisiting it every month or whatever, right? Now, keeping in mind your time sensitive offers, people have joined your list. You're gonna be sending them an easy. You're gonna be doing launches and other promotions. That's where those things come into play. Those time sensitive offers do not need to be plugged into your tree branch here, right? They don't need to actually be in the tree itself. So I want you to consider what do you wanna have happen? What do you wanna offer? For a lot of people, it boils down to a couple of things. You either want people to make a purchase to actually go through this journey and click and buy something, or you're, you want to lead them towards having a sales conversation with you. So depending on what you offer and how you sell that and what's gonna make the most amount of sense, that's usually where you're headed here, right? And again, you might have something over here to click and buy, you might have something else over here to click and buy, but as long as there are any time offers that people can buy whenever the heck they wanna buy and that fit properly into this automation process, then it's all good. So that's our tree trunk strategy. 
And we're going to be diving further into that in the next video here. Once you get clear on what it is you actually want to accomplish, I'll share with you some examples, some audit would we'll show you what a map looks like and all of, excuse me, all of that fun stuff. So until then, I'll see you in, well, until then, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.